Bureau of Applied Social Research, or Research. The Bureau of Applied Social Research was a social research institute at Columbia University, which specialized in mass communications research. It grew out of the radio research project at Princeton University, beginning in 1937. The Bureau's first director was Austrian sociologist Paul Laser Spelled. The project took on permanent form as the Office of Radio Research, moving to Columbia in 1939. It was renamed the Bureau of Applied Social Research in 1944. The Bureau was closed in 1977, when its archives were merged into Columbia Center for the Social Sciences, which in turn became part of the Institute for Social and Economic Theory and Research in 1999, which in turn became part of the Institute for Social and Economic Research and Policy in 2001. Criticism Daniel Lerner's involvement in the Bureau of Applied Social Research project that traditional society was based on has been criticized to be violating ethical considerations of research. The research was conducted as a field survey in Turkey, Greece, Germany, Lebanon, Israel, Syria, Egypt, Iraq, Iran, and Jordan, with special focus on Turkey. In all, 1,600 interviews were used for the book. Samarajeva writes that even though the original purpose of research, the questionnaire consisted of nine questions about movies, 17 about newspapers, and 49 about radio. Of the 49 questions about radio, 23 were about foreign broadcasting. In fact, Samarajeva writes that a restricted document from the Program Evaluation Branch, International Broadcasting Division, Department of State, titled Projected Research Plans and Issued Prior to the Actual Research, lists the questions Voice of America was interested in having asked. These questions had corresponding questions in the Basser Project as well. According to the ethics of research as outlined by Ethel de Sola Poole, the research project did not adequately concern itself with ethics of research. The researchers did not fully disclose the sponsors of the research in their host countries fully reveal to the native researchers the purposes of the research, adequately publish the results of the research in the host countries, ensure the safety of the researchers involved. In his book Psyche War, Lerner writes, in its Cold War with Soviet Union, the United States is offering mainly dollars to produce more good things of life. Should it turn out that the good things we offer are not adequate competition against the better world offered by Soviets, we shall need some new policy decisions. Here we shall need to